Okay, so in this video, what we will do is we will take the model that we have done uh, in the previous video, where we have an ATM system developed as composed of just two components here. So it's a partial view of the system. And we are only considering two uh, value properties for our ATM. We have the value properties for our display and computer unit, which are parts of the system. And uh, we created these constraint blocks, which would allow us to <clears throat> add the individual weights of these components, add them up together, and give us the weight of the, the system, which in our case is the ATM uh, block up here. And then we have a second um, constraint, which simply checks if the, the total weight is less than or equal to some value. In, in our uh, example, it's, it's 15. It's set to 15. And you see the, you know, the, the, the overall view of uh, all the different views that we have created. Uh, we have the Block definition diagram, uh, the box, and the relationship between them. On the right hand side, we have the parametric diagram, which shows the connectivity across these different value properties. And we also have a, an instance table that uh, shows us some of the instances that we created either using runtime or uh, manually uh, and evaluated those against our uh, you know, constraints. <clears throat> so now, what we'll be doing in this video is, is to simply create a very simple rudimentary um, user interface which would allow us to execute the, the, the same parametric diagram but we will have these uh, value properties that we can uh, edit or uh, provide to the to the uh, simulation engine and the calculations will be performed and the result of the, uh, the calculations would be uh, put back on this uh, user interface so it's a, just a kind of a dashboard which would allow us to interact with these simulations which may be running behind the scenes and we make uh, also suppress those those animations but let's just uh, see how uh, this uh, simple uh, user interface can be built so what i'll be doing is uh, the first thing i'll be doing is i will create uh, okay so here is the exact same file that we were working on in the previous video i had a different file open earlier uh, uh, few minutes of this of this video so so this is the one um, all the things are very similar uh, exactly the same uh, model with same value properties there may be different names or different uh, identifiers that, that I may have used so uh, now we are going to start building this this uh, user interface the first thing we'll be doing is, is to uh, uh, create a diagram called simulation configuration diagram uh, so we'll go up here Say create a diagram. I'll try to search this sim configuration, and if it doesn't show up, click on the expert, and it definitely will show up there. Uh, once it's open, we oh, let me make it larger. Uh, it's an empty uh, at this time uh, configuration, uh, which allows us access to the to the different simulation parameters. Uh, Lots of things uh, during our class lecture, you know, I, I described some of those uh, parameters that uh, may be important for us. So let's just give it give it a name. So we'll call it um, the same UI. And you can name it anything you like. And the moment we have given it a name, we may realize that the same same UI appeared up here. There are multiple configurations. You will see all of those configurations up here. Uh, once we have it, uh, you know. Uh, Fine to all the all the necessary things, then you will also see this uh, play button enabled up there, so we can run all of those configurations without opening any any views or any pages. <clears throat> so the first thing we have to do is, is to assign this ATM as the uh, block that this thing would uh, use as a target uh, when we start the simulations. So let me just drag and drop it here, and that's how it, the ex execution target of this configuration book becomes the ATM. It's like uh, selecting the ATM block and then running simulations on it. So that's just another way of uh, approaching ATM and, and running simulations on it. And when you start the simulations, all its uh, you know, the components would, would also participate in that simulation. Uh, there are lots of other parameters. Again, this is uh, uh, something that we are going to uh, discuss some other time, uh, not in this video. Uh, the next thing is we will create our uh, wireframe. The, the graphical user interface and then we will bring that graphical user interface as something that this configuration would start 
uh, using while you know it, it runs those simulations. So the next thing I'm going to do is is to create a new diagram, and this time this diagram is the user interface. So I'll try to search it user, and it doesn't show up here. So I'm clicking on the expert, and it's here user interface modeling diagram. So when you click on it, it should Open another tab on this uh, workspace with an empty frame. So let me resize it because we are using a very simple uh, interface, so we don't need uh, a lot of space to do that. And we are going to bring in this frame, which will be the you know the window which will show up when we will start running simulations. Uh, this again uh, frame. Oh, will also have an owner and that will be again our, our ATM. So I'll just drag and drop it. Um, now this frame has access to the features of, of this block. Uh, so if I like to, let's say, uh, let me just show you that. If I bring a text label, let me use a label, a, a meaningful label, which says this is the weight of the ATM. So the EI ATM. And I can resize it, uh, change the font, and all of those things by just right clicking it, and then you have the symbol properties, which I'm not doing right now. And then I'm going to bring in another label, and this time this label will have access or should have access to the, the weight value property of the ATM block. And how do we provide uh, this label access to that? Open up your ATM definition. Uh, you have all the parts and the value properties shown in here. Here is the here is the weight value property. I'll simply drag and drop it up here, and that's how it becomes sort of you know the, the place where the the value uh, will be posted. So when you run simulations, and this uh, value property it is assigned some numerical value uh, due to the parametric diagram calculating that that value. Yeah, you will see that value posted over. We also have two other value properties of the two parts, the computing unit and the <coughs> display unit. And we would like to have some access to these value properties as well. We would like to also, uh, you know, have this facility where we can change those those values and see how the new values, uh, you know, uh, be at, as a result of executing the, the parametric diagram and the new weight of ATM should be calculated. Uh, to provide access to this uh, interface to the, uh, the, the those uh, part properties or parts with their properties, uh, we have to bring this panel in uh, since there are two parts that we would like to have access to. This is our panel number one and then let me add one more panel here. So this will be the panel which would have those text fields where we may have access to these uh, value properties of these parts. So first of all, I have to. So this is my this is the area where um, I, I would like to have access to the computing unit value property. So I go back to my ATM definition and find the part property that says uh, computing unit. Uh, be very careful. I'm, I'm not opening uh, the definitions of the computing unit and the display or the blocks that you see up here. I'm still looking at the ATM uh, definition, and within the ATM, I see a usage computing unit of the computing unit, and that's what I'm going to drag and drop it here. So this becomes a, an area which now has access to this part. Similarly, I'm going to bring the display and assign it to this region, and now I have access to these two things. So again, I can bring in my labels. Uh, the, the first one is just a, a, a title. I'm going to say weight of the CPU. And the second one will be the weight of the display. <coughs> and once again, you can resize it, uh, have some you know, background colors or you know, all sorts of um, other fancy things that you may like to add here. My next thing would be the text field. So I'm not using labels at all because I would like to have 
ability to change those values or edit those values. So here is one text box. Uh, here is another text field. And I would like to go back now to the <clears throat> definitions of these uh, two parts in their own blocks and draw corresponding value properties to these fields so that these fields can read the values. So this is my weight value property. Similarly, my display value property will be dropped on this one. Now that's it. So now you have a very simple uh, wireframe, which when we will execute, hopefully, will allow us uh, to edit these values of the parts. And the weight of the ATM will be calculated by the uh, uh, parametric diagram and will be posted over here. So uh, let's just uh, go back to our, so let me let me show you the containment tree as to what the situation is. So let me collapse most of these things. So here we have this ATM. Uh, here is this our uh, user interface diagram that we just created. So up here, let me just call it UI diagram so that we can figure out what these things are. And this ATM at the, at the bottom is this uh, frame uh, that we have just uh, developed. So now what we have to do is to go back to our sim config, this green box, and drag and drop this GUI that says ATM on it. And that's how it becomes the, the user interface that this simulation configuration will be using. So if I execute it, that user interface would be uh, enabled. You will see it on your screen. And that's where we will be able to interact with this with the simulation engine by changing the values of the, the value properties and see uh, the new values calculated by the parametric diagram. So let's just now run it. Uh, we can now go back to uh, this same UI, which is displayed at the top, and run it from here. So when we run it, you see the you know the the, the wireframe that we created. Uh, if I start assigning values to it, those values will be taken and uh, substituted for the value properties. I'm simply uh, pretending uh, hitting return. And that's how the weight of the ATM is calculated, and the reason it shows with the the, the red background because uh, the one of the constraint constraints that we had is violated and that's just a visual sort of a indication that there was some some uh, violation of a constraint and that's it that's it that's our uh, dashboard that's our user interface if you have a very large system with lots of different types of uh, value properties and we may like to see if we you know uh, change those things what may or may not happen uh, you can think of constructing such a such a uh, user interface and interact with the with the simulations running behind the scenes. Okay, so that's it. That's about it.